Hey guys, this video is gonna be about how to help you get clients um, after this quarantine is over. So, let's talk about it. First of all, um, what is the best way for new lash artists to get clients? So the best way is to really just get your name out there. Let's talk about the first and easiest method out there. Um, so the easiest method is actually through your friends and family. So um, just really do all your friends' lashes for free. Just do them for free. Uh, if they feel like giving you a tip, whatever, that's fine. But don't expect to start making money um, the first, you know, like few, let's say I would say 50 clients. Don't expect to make money because you're not there yet. Like you're just practicing. You're just making sure that you're getting good, that your retention is on point and that you're able to actually start um, taking your first clients. So that would be method number one. That's what I would do. Just do all your friends, do all your family lashes, um, see what problems they're having. Are, they, are their lashes falling out? Are they too long? Are they too short? Uh, adjust those issues, adjust your room temperature, adjust your humidity according to the glue, find the perfect supplies, and then you're ready. So that will t uh, process will typically take um, you know, a few months. So just be prepared for that and it's fine. It happens to everyone, so it's normal. So just, um, you know, you don't expect paying clients to kind of like go through that, through that stage with you because you know it's not really fair for them to be paying I don't know however much you're charging for a full set and for you to kind of like be experimenting and kind of not sure yet if your glue is gonna work not sure if the retention is gonna be good you know you really need to have your shit together you know um, f to start taking real clients and really like um, you know making sure that everything's gonna be perfect so um, so that's what I would do so that's where I would start really ask it doesn't matter if your mom likes extensions she's gonna do them for you for, for you like uh, you know it doesn't matter if your aunt um, you know is like a natural person doesn't like makeup you know just ask her please can I do your, your extensions we can remove them for you in the, in a couple of days or a couple of weeks I just want to see how you know uh, how it's gonna look she might love them who knows but the point is you need the practice and um, just you know practice on whoever's available practice on your mannequin practice on your and take a million pictures and post them everywhere post them on social media post them uh, for your portfolio everywhere um, it's not gonna be perfect but it's gonna be able, it's gonna help you look back and perfect your mistakes and see okay what's my issue where are my issues is it the retention is it the, the direction is it um, are all my clients saying that like they don't like that the lashes are too curly or that they're too short or too long so you really need to figure that out and that's not something anyone can do for you except yourself so trial and error and everyone goes through that sorry guys it's a little bit windy here and it's 120 degrees but you know whew, sweating anyway um so that would be the tip number one to everyone do all your um entourage your whole entourage so after you've done that i strongly recommend that you get your social media on point so um Basically, make sure that on your social media, if a potential client goes there, try to look at your page through the eyes of a potential uh, client. So uh, if they go on your page, let's say so Instagram or Facebook, is it easy to reach you? Is, is it easily understandable what kind of sets you offer, what your prices are, where are you located? Um, I strongly encourage to make that information easily available because if it's not, clients are just gonna be like, ah, this is too, too complicated. I'm not gonna look for her phone number. Like, oh, I have to email her? Like, who does that anymore? Like, it you email someone and you wait two, three days for a response? Like, no, I want my lashes done like now. I want them done tonight. I want them done tomorrow morning. I want them done this Friday for a friend's wedding, whatever. The point is they wanna be able to reach you and they wanna, and they want you to answer it like now. So. If that's not in place, you're losing like 50% of your clients. So fix that. Um, just try to look at your page as a client. Uh, and if you're seeing those issues, just make sure they're not there anymore. Um, you know, that's a huge, huge, huge um, aspect. And the other one is um, customer service. 
which ties right into this. So make sure that you're available. When the clients are texting you or messaging you or calling you, make sure you're answering the phone. Or if, you're, if it's your email, which I don't recommend, make sure you're emailing them right away because if you don't, someone else will and they're not gonna wait. Typically a client will, like I just think of myself, when I need my lashes done, like, or my hair done, which actually I need my hair done. Uh, this quarantine disaster, self-made, uh, like dying of my own hair at home is just not working out for me. But anyway, um, the point is that, you know, when you want something done, you want it now. And, you know, tomorrow, I may not feel like getting my hair done anymore. I'm just gonna be like, ugh, uh, it's too long. It's gonna take too long. I don't feel like it anymore. Like I want it done now or I want it done tomorrow, like tomorrow morning, let's say, whatever. So I know it's, it's not great, but that's the way clients think. So try to think like a client, you know, like a client will be like, I want it done, done now. So they wanna reach you now. And so you need to be able to answer them right away. You need to be able to message them back instantly not like the next day because by ne the next day they're over it you know they don't want to book your appointment anymore um, so be sure that that's uh, in place followed um, and another thing that ties into customer service when you do get your first couple of clients remember those they're your walking advertisement so especially if your work is not great you have to win them over with other factors what other factors great um, aftercare uh, explanations give them free lash shampoos or free lash brushes make sure that you're extra extra nice I mean you should always be extra extra nice but in, in this case if your skills are not amazing you should be like extremely extremely sweet nice call them after their appointment a few days later ask them how their lashes are make sure that they're not falling off ask them if there's any issues offer to come back for free if they have any issues just like go a hundred percent all out because they are your walking advertisement if they like you they're gonna refer two or three uh, more clients to you if they don't like you well there you go you have earned the potentially um, either bad review in the best case scenario or just um, you know I mean in the worst case scenario bad review or in the best case scenario they'll just never come back again and you will not know why and you're just gonna continue making the same mistake over and over again until you say oh this is not working but the truth is you just have to be kind of proactive and especially like I said in the beginning it's normal you're gonna make mistakes you know client lashes are gonna fall out it happens um, you know they might not like their lashes or you know some whatever it is whatever issue there is you just have to promptly fix it and if you do really well you fix it well they're just gonna be like wow like you know I really like her like even though she's she's trying to get there she's still a new lash artist her customer service is amazing and I'm actually gonna give her another shot and you know I really like her personality like I've heard this a lot that like, you know, clients will be like, oh, I, I really, um, I know you do really well, good lashes. Like they'll tell some, some other lash technician, I know you do amazing lashes, but I'm actually like really attached to my lash artist. You know, we have such a good report. We have a good relationship. Um, you know, I'm really loyal to her, even though her lashes aren't like amazing. I still want to continue going to her because, you know, I've been going to her for two years and I've been there from the, with her from the beginning and I just really love her so that's it you know um, if you can't win them over in the beginning with your work win them over with your personality win them over with your customer service win them over with um, you know other things and it's possible so um, I've seen it done with other lash artists it's very possible it's very doable so that was the other tip um, another tip I would give you guys is to print out um, print out business cards super important whenever you're going out just be sure to have them on you and give them out to whoever you see like this is gonna be hard for people that are introverts and you're not gonna like this but you have to do it and if you don't well 
you're losing out on potential clientele. This works extremely well if you're in a small town also because word of mouth goes really, really far in a small town. So just you're going to the grocery store, someone comments on your lashes, give them a card. Or you see your waitress has lashes done or you know she, she has like fake strip lashes, be like, oh, I do lashes by the way here's my card if ever you need them done um, I'm your girl you know or whoever you you chat with and you start up conversations with um, give them your card whoever you think might be interested um, you know mommy groups just get the word out talk about it be like yeah I'm a lash artist uh, I do lashes I just started I'm looking for clients if you know anyone here's my card so you're gonna get quite a lot of clients that way as well this works really really well in small towns bigger towns cities it could work too um, but you know uh, it depends on how proactive you are works especially especially well if the person you're ta like the person you're giving out your card to uh, works in a public place like a waitress or like a hairdresser or a um, you know um, anyone who works with people so that sees a lot of people it, they're gonna be your best uh, walking advertisement so you can even sometimes offer to do their lashes for free if they um, you know accept to do some pictures or some videos for your uh, social media so that that's another way of doing it so I think those are all the tips for today I hope you guys found this um, useful and helpful if you did please let me know your biggest uh, tip that you're gonna try in the comments below uh, also please don't forget to subscribe and turn the notification on so that you can continue seeing more of our videos and our posts our future posts uh, we would really really love to have you guys on this channel uh, we're always there to support you and uh, we're gonna be putting out as much educational and supportive con content for you guys as possible um, if you guys have any other questions about lashing, please um, message us, DM us on Instagram or Facebook and we'll be more than happy to help you. We have a lash artist available 24-7 to answer all your questions. Um, and yeah, so thank you so much for watching. See you guys next time.